All right, everyone, our first segment is one of tremendous importance, especially for all women watching this morning. Jay Blanchard, wealth manager from the Financial Guys, is here to talk about your money and the unique financial challenges widows face in this country. Good morning, Jay. Nice to have you here. Good morning to you. Pleasure to be here. Well, thank you. You really bring some sobering information for I all do. women, whether you're a widow or you're not a widow, about money and the future. It, it is sad, but we're going to bring solutions today. Good. I'm so glad. All right. Here's the situation. Half of over 70-year-old uh, women are widows. That is correct. And the average age of a widow in this country is about 59. That is true. How many, what's the percentage of women are ready for their financial future after that point? You know, some are and some aren't, but what I found dealing with widows is there's a lot of surprises along the way. Yeah, and I was surprised. You're going to tell us about some of them because, um, first of all, you may lose some of your husband's pension, and a lot of people don't realize that. Yeah, so there, there's things that, quite a few things that work against women. One is that their income may go down. They could lose their husband's pension part or all of it. They could lose, well, they will lose one of the Social Securities, the lower one, mm -hmm. uh, and expenses may go up. And, and all that put together on top of that, their taxes may go up because when they go from filing joint to filing single, their tax bracket will probably go from the 15 to the 25 percent. That's a 10 percent jump in taxes. And you know, they've already experienced some real trauma. And now to find out at this point in your life, wait a minute, I don't think I've got enough money to even hang on to this house. So here's what's happening. You're going to provide solutions, and we want to invite everybody to go to where you're doing, you're doing this. It could be very scary. We come alongside women. We're not salespeople. Mm -hmm. We educate. So first thing I'm going to do is listen and understand where she's coming from, where she wants to go, not where I want her to go, but right. where she wants to go, and then educate her and show her her options and her opportunities. Right, and this is a segment that you're doing coming up. This is, um, it's called the seven, well, we're going to be profiling a book here, too. But it's a seminar that you're inviting women to come to. Absolutely. Yep. And tell us when it is. Oh, we, we don't have one scheduled. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. So they can just come to you. Right. Okay. I'm yep. thinking about the book. Here we go. Take a look at these two things that um, will be available so you can see this as well. Moving forward on your own, a financial guidebook for widows and the yep. seven biggest mistakes widows make. So if they call us or go to our Facebook page, they can request this. Mm -hmm. We call this our Thrive Package. So the first thing is the seven mistakes that widows make. They can go through there and see, try and avoid those common mistakes. We've got a book in there that was actu actually used uh, by the military for uh, widowed wives when they lose a husband overseas. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a great, great book written, written by a woman. And then we've got some little neat tchotchkes in there too. That's great. So it's called the Thrive Package. And here's the thing. We might have a lot of women who are watching saying, my husband has taken care of me. I, don't, I can tune this out. You meet women every day where unfortunately that was not the case. This is the thing that, that um, concerns me the most, being sensitive for where women are coming from. If you let your husband do absolutely everything, when you do lose your best friend, you not only have the double, je double jeopardy of the emotional loss, mm -hmm. but the double jeopardy of you don't know what to do with your finances. Right. So get involved a little bit. Mm -hmm. Get involved a little bit. Ask those questions now. Do we have a will? Um, how much money will I, I be able to live on? What am I going to need for the future? Will I be able to stay in my own home? These are very important questions, and you need to be getting these answers. And if not, you need to come and see Jay. <laughs> You want to have a will, health care, proxy, power of attorney, and not just each other on that. You want contingents. Mm -hmm. okay? um, you also want your financial plan to integrate. We integrate with uh, three legs of a stool, financial, legal, and tax, and we can help folks do that. Yeah. And Jay, it's not a matter of, oh, well, you know, so many people don't want to talk about this because it's depressing. This is vital information. You're going to feel a lot less depressed about a lot of things if you have the answers to these questions. It, it's much, much better. Nobody wants to talk about it, myself included. Right. But it's much, much better to talk about it beforehand. Mm -hmm. If you wait till that day comes, then it becomes an emergency dis situation, and, and making those decisions then is not the best. Right. Plus, I mean, you might be looking at a lot of expenses right away. And I mean, it's just not the time to be, to be thrown into uh, a financial chaos. You want to be prepared. Yeah, but unfortunately, a lot of women do not do this. And that's why we're urging you um, to make sure you understand what's happening tomorrow. Now, when you go and visit Jay, we're talking about getting an advisor. We're talking about spending and budgeting. Where should you be in that, at that point in your life so you have enough? 
creating a life financial plan for yourself? There's a lot of good questions that will have people starting to think. Well, will not only help widows develop a budget, you know, what are you spending your money on? And we never critique that, by mm -hmm. the way. So whatever you like to do, we understand that. But then we're going to build in where the income is coming from, not just from an investment standpoint, but also from a tax standpoint. Right. Do you want to withdraw from your IRAs or your non-qualified funds or your Roth? Where are you going to get this money from and mm -hmm. what's the most efficient way to do that? And, you know, speaking of taxes, Jay, what you were saying, a lot of people are under the misconception that their taxes won't change when, in fact, your taxes may go up. A huge, huge misgeneralization that I see in all over the media right now is the assumption that your taxes are going to be lower in retirement than, than they are when you're working. Mm -hmm. This is even a bigger faux pas for women because, as all the statistics say, she's probably going to be single at some time, right. and that puts her in the individual taxpayer bracket, and boom, the taxes go up, not just on your income, but also on your Social Security. Wow. Jay, you've done a great job on your uh, Facebook page because this is where we want to get women to go to. But you're going to have all the information there um, to go ahead and then contact Jay to get these questions answered. Just go into Facebook and you know do the Facebook search, Wealth to Women, Wealth and it'll to women. come up and it shows all our activities. And coincidentally, today is uh, International Widows Day. Oh really, I did not know that. Yeah. So this is, this is your time, everybody. This is a big welcome here and this is a big invitation um, to understand what your future could be like uh, if you go ahead and do the work now. Wealth to Women, you're gonna work with people like Jay, good people who are interested in making sure you're gonna have what you need later in life. Wealth to Women. And by the way, the financial guys available at uh, 6631 Main Street in Williamsville. You can give them a call at their office. But again, for this information, you can easily go to facebook.com slash wealth to women.